let me start with this you know everybody knows that there are the three dimensions of the trade export import and domestic each dimension has to ensure the food safety maybe there is a fourth dimension of the trade that is transit even then if the food is moving through your country we have to look into the food safety requirement like let us also understand the trade regulations when we talk about the international trade there are the different international bodies who are making the regulations but that is not suffice the purpose for the international trade if you see the globe globe has basically divided into the three sectors developed countries developing countries and least developing countries the developed world they have basically devised and they have the most stringent regulations whether uh, you know they may be higher than the codex standards and they have developed the reason being they have the resources they have the you know uh, the scientific infrastructure and they can produce the evidence that they need the more and more stringent standards because they are always importing they are at receiving end so they can dictate the terms the developing countries is basically in dilemma as i have shared the statistics that we are importing as well as exporting so we cannot frame so stringent standards which can have a you know is restriction to the trade and least developing country they have a freedom they can adopt the standard of the developing country or the developed world because they have nothing to export nothing to export if we talk about the uh, the food safety concerns of the developing countries which are common like insufficient food control system there is a lot of lacunas lack of basic hygiene and food handling system particularly at the primary production level food adulteration is widely you know practiced uninformed consumers but unfortunately in india the consumer is being aware now a lot of lot of information is available for them they can they can be aware what is the regulations limited participation in international standard setting works now the india has you know made a lot of progress where all the codex committees and oie and ippc is represented by india different and we would like to ensure the food safety in our national food control system there are four important pillars are there one is the legislation and the regulations second is the inspection third is the laboratory testing which is really the backbone and fourth is the enforcement why i said the laboratory testing is backbone because all the decisions are taking you know based on the laboratory results where the tub is playing a very important role they have a international infrastructure and international standard labs which as a regulatory body we are also utilizing their services what one